Is uh, Richard there? Uh, you got him. Hey Richard, this is uh, Robert Klein. I, I had um, contacted NABS about the oh, video. Oh yeah, I, re I got your call. Okay. Or a letter, or whatever, yeah. <laughs> I got your message, what's up? Well, you, you told me to call you if you wanted to chat about the experience or... Yeah. Um, and I, I was shocked beyond belief, you know. Um, uh, did you see, t take this uh, video? Yourself or what? Yeah, I, I mean, I was, I heard the, some stuff happening in the woods and I was expecting maybe a small deer or something to come out, you know? And right. so, so, and it was a, one of those really wet, rainy evenings in Miami and I, you know, there was no one in the park. The, the rain kind of caught me while I was riding my bike. Uh-huh. And um, when I, I, I heard it, I pulled over and I went down this smaller nature trail and that's when I took out my camera because I thought I was just going to get a nice picture of an animal. And that's when um, he came across and I kind of followed for a second and then uh, got back out of that trail and on my bike and got out of there. <laughs> well, it looked like a young one if you asked me if it was anything at all. Yeah. I can't imagine. They can, they can, um, uh, they can go through our... Uh, Residential area is pretty good. They have a stealth mode they go into. Mm -hmm. I mean, where you, we can't see them, but they can walk around us. We can't see it. Our dogs can see them, but we can't. Okay. I don't know. Maybe I, if I were you, I'd go back to that area and then see if you could make contact with it by leaving some food stuffs out somewhere, but and uh, maybe see if they'll take them. How would I know if another animal didn't take it or? Well, you're going to have to put it in a. A bucket, or put it in a place that uh, other animals couldn't get to. I don't know what kind of you got. I don't think what other kind of animals you have in that area. It's, I, I, the only thing that I've seen are like small deer, raccoons. Um, uh, raccoons could get almost anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, I put it in a bucket with a lid on it mm -hmm. and hang it in a limb uh, off of a limb somewhere uh, with a rope. Okay. Okay. And yeah. uh, see if they'll uh, come and get it or take it. Okay. Now these, uh, what you're dealing with, is, as weird as it lo they look, they're some kind of a people, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, they're not an animal, but they're a people. They're highly intelligent. They don't look that way, but they are. And if you look into their eyes, a lot of people have looked into their eyes and seen the intelligence in there, so. And you can talk to them, and they will listen and respond. Okay. Okay? Is it? Nothing it, it, major to be scared of, actually. Uh, on most part, most mostly. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that's comforting, I guess. Yeah, that's all. I, well, I, I I wouldn't have uh, uh, you know maybe if you go out there again and want to uh, look for it, maybe take somebody with you anyway. Yeah, yeah, I won't be going in there alone anymore. Yeah, but as long as you're not alone, it, it'd be okay. What? So if they're not, if they're not an animal all the way and not a human, is what is it? Is like a humanoid or? Is well, it? we've taken the DNA. We've got a, a, a really good DNA samples. We had 111 samples we went through from different parts of the country. Mm -hmm. And uh, they come back, uh, the DNA comes back, uh, male DNA in them. But the uh, male part of the DNA is unknown, as in not from this earth. So if you put those two together, after a while, it, it makes sense that... Uh, these things are we uh, they're start they're starting to call them nephilims as in uh they're a product of the fallen angels and our females per the bible okay they've been around a long long time they're very intelligent hmm. okay oh highly intelligent actually some of them are just unbelievable but they do we're not a hundred percent sure if they're not you know they don't Eat, eat us sometimes, <laughs> or take us sometimes. Mm -hmm. So we're not a hundred percent sure there. But uh, anyway, just as long as you got some people with you, I got people living with the dang things and talking to them and all kinds of stuff right now in different parts of the country. Oh my God! So oh, yeah, they're they're mostly not dangerous then. Mostly not dangerous. That's right. They got a clan. They got a, a group, a family group. Usually they hang around in. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're in, we got, I've got humans in communication with them. I've got humans that are going out and living with them nightly at during the, during the, in the forest there area. So, uh, you know, uh, I can't imagine they'd be too dangerous. They just come, the younger ones is what they're making contact with. 
Mm-hmm. There's an alpha male usually in the uh, family group that doesn't want them to be doing this because that's not the right way for them. These big, they, they've been staying away from us pretty good, okay? Mm-hmm. They don't want their younger ones to mess with us. Right. They, but they will. They're just like our teenagers. They don't listen, okay? Mm-hmm. That's probably, that's what I think I saw because it, it didn't look like a giant um, right. thing. And I'm like, maybe it was a teenager or, or an adolescent and it was yeah. just more brazen and just didn't really care or something. Yeah, yeah. I would go, maybe go out and check, take somebody with you and go out and check the park for any signs like uh, footprints or uh, they make uh, stick signs too. They, uh, they, bend, they bend trees over, make an uh, arch out of them, or they make crosses in there uh, with the uh, limbs and different things. You can go through and look at the trees and see if they've been in there. They'll break a tree in half. Uh, bend a small tree down, you know, and then bend it over. Mm-hmm. And they'll do that for, uh, I don't know what it is, but they do it. Mm-hmm. And, uh, to their direction or they're taken or something. But they, they do these all these all these all all the time in these forests or forested areas. So is that, that's one of the tracking then mechanisms. If I spot, like, something like that, then I should leave some food nearby, maybe. Yeah. If you could find something like that, maybe find a... You know, leave some food out for them, see what happens. Uh, I, of course, like I told you, leave it in a bucket with a lid on it. Uh, they'll, you know, just so uh, the rain and the other little critters won't get to it. Mm-hmm. And see what happens. You can tell uh, if a critter got to it, they kind of leave a uh, mess around. The big guys won't leave a mess. They'll pretty cl- they're pretty neat. They'll just take what they want and leave. Right. Okay, well, I guess that's... The next step. I, I wanna. I wanna try to get some more definitive proof for you and uh, the rest of the NABS to kind yeah. of review. Because now, now, now I'm hooked. I'm, I'm hooked now. I, I want to figure this out. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> it totally. Sh- yeah, I would. I would have been in here the same way. I totally shook shook up my world. That's for sure. Yeah, they will shake up your world once you get to know about them. Yeah, they're even even more amazing than uh, you know about than we know about. Yeah, I'm 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 thrilled that I you know it's just digesting, but I'm thrilled that I was actually able to see one and um, get the chance to kind of prove that it's real. It's kind of exciting for me. Yeah. Well, um, Richard, it was really nice chatting. Same here. Yeah. Good. All right. Thank Sounds you. Good. Thanks again. Okay. Right. Take care. You too. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye.